Alright, our bounty here might be a little bit stronger. So, we're gonna equip our suppress weapon for now. Be a little bit careful here. To get settlers, can't do nothing for them, unfortunately. Maybe we will take Best the stuff, though. Anything. Take the resources for now. Layout looks pretty familiar. I think I might have been to this layout before. Medical items, don't mind if I do. I think see, I think I read that medical report, that's why I don't want to read it. Because the notes are all recycled and everything. We're not gonna bother doing that. Oh. Oh, we got we got people here. Don't mind by me eating all the food. <laughs> You're going down. Are you sure about that? You sure about that? I don't think so. Me taking that. People here did not make it out, unfortunately. Are you serious? Badessa, you see this bullshit? <laughs> I can't get through here, apparently. You know, there's a big enough gap to get through there. Somehow, I can't get through there, so thanks, Badessa. Uh, take a nap. I'm trying to take that credit stick. There we go. Stuff here. Now we're just here for the bounty. I don't think we're not gonna take any more loot at this rate. Maybe some credit sticks, some medical item, uh, lock picks. And that's pretty much it. That's also ammo. No, okay. Yeah, it's just been recycled at this rate. Not sure what they're firing at. Oh, Frankenstein. We could probably get her to the book lady unless we I give that book away to her. Oh, so an artwork. Contrabines. Don't mind if I do. Nope. Okay, at least we got some contrabines. Those contrabines are kind of hard to spot. Like a bunch of ammo. Yes. Okay. Something. Something killed. And once again, we are triumphant. Somebody killed a captain. And it was not me. Not sure what the hell they're fighting. Yeah, I am overcomer now. Get that. So they were fighting something, I just don't know what. But we gotta get to the captain because the captain has a lot of loot. So we're gonna keep on pressing forward. Now this. Found a mother load. Don't mind if I do. Now, I think you originally need a key to open that. Pat pack. Uh, yeah, we're taking everything here because we're not coming back here. Uh, we are taking everything we see here. 762, nice. No contrabines here, which is unfortunate. Yep. Nope, we're good here. I just need to figure out what... Oh, we got some people over there. Dead. Should have known better to fight at me. Hey, we're going in. Just get started. Dead. See ya. Okay, going after this guy here. Reload here. Uh, 
fucking pussy ass bitch. You guys are a bunch of pussies. They get into a fight and then they they they, they, they can't win and then they decide to run away. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Did they have anything of value? Uh, nays, and that's about it. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Well, looks like the Marines here didn't stand a chance. I wish to discuss with you. We'll talk about it later. Yes, when we have time. So shut the heck up. We are exploring right now. That's the guns. We don't care about that. Base surge level eight, no problem. Yep, they're nowhere here. Ooh. I'm going in. Oh, the slow vault. Why are you hiding? Got the range. Nope. <laughs> the bleed damage from the shotgun is absolutely disgusting. And another door here we can explore. No purples or legendaries. Yeah, we gotta sell this mine soon. Because we got way too many mines. Lockpick. Take that. And a lab key. Hello. I think we got that though, but it is what it is. I think that's just a shortcut, so we're not gonna go there. Oh, we'll loot around here? Nope. Get his ass out. Alvin. I've definitely not been here. I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but. There are practical limits, no. Hey, don't worry about it. And then we got a bunch of dead people here. We just pile. Could mine some resources, but I think we're good. Uh, there's food, money. I do for this people here. Okay, let's keep searching for our bounties. Wherever this bounty is. Like, we still beat it. Like, we, we don't have to do it. It's just that I kind of want to explore. And you know me, I like to loot as well, so we have to. Ooh, hello. Nope. Oh. Nope. You're dead. <laughs> right, this thing doesn't fuck around away. Oh, I killed this guy from this distance. Dead. <laughs> Hashtag dead. Uh -oh. Well, we're getting close. I think the dead captain might be around here. So the question is, what the heck is down here? Oh. Guy literally died, and now he's pretty much in limbo forever. <laughs> and there's the shortcut that we talk about. Okay, well, I think we pretty much explored everything. Don't see any sign of the captain, unless the captain is like. I don't know that over there. It's like this way, I don't even know going to be able to loot what that captain has. Maybe. I took this guy out. Take it out. They're going. Ooh, wait.
Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to the captain, but yeah, the captain is definitely not going to be lootable, unfortunately. It is what it is. But at least we could loot whatever's in this laboratory here. Because I'm pretty sure that captain might have some good shit. Mysterious captain, huh? So rare that someone new comes along. From the sidelines, it's a real treat to see everyone scrambling. It's very profitable as well. <laughs> uh, who are you? What are you it's talking about? Time. I don't even know if it will ever be. But hope and my pocketbook springs eternal. Mysterious captain, huh? Uh, is that a ship? Trying ships are pretty oh, expensive. I suppose it did cost a few fortunes, but it is nice to travel with a modicum of style. That's a very uh, odd accent. I uh, appreciate you explaining yourself. I really can't say as much as I'd like to. It may mean nothing, but I'm rooting for you. Well, Sorry, for what? Good luck. Uh, thanks, I guess. Just be careful. <laughs> Very careful. I hope uh, to see you at a much later date. Mysterious captain. Uh, I have a freaking date with some sort of mysterious captain, I guess. That's weird. She could be a pirate or something worse. <laughs> we don't know. We shouldn't be here either, but I kind of want to go to here. Gotta go to Morlock. Uh, so we gotta go to Morlock and then jump to here. Let's go to Suck, cause I really want to explore this planet, but it's gonna suck. Everything here is absolutely fuck. Alright, we're gonna check out on one more planet that we need to get for an old friend of ours that we have haven't talked to since the beginning of our playthrough. So uh, before we do that, we're gonna start storing our weapons and resources here because we got way too many shit in our hands. Yes. Like the grenades here, especially. Way too much grenades. Deep ocean deposit. Excellent. Oh, this planet surveyed. Wow, a lot of XP for that too. Okay, yeah, so I guess it is somewhat worth exploring some of these planets because we do get a shitload of XP for it. It just takes too much time, you know, because there's no vehicles in this game, so... That's the reason why I don't explore all these planets, because time's wasted, and it's just too long, to, you know, too long down downtime, because there's no vehicles. So hopefully Podessa would do something like that, add official vehicle support in the future at some point. Got a couple of guys, one guy sitting down. Looks like the exact same mine uh, setup that we did the last planet. See, this is what I mean about the random generation for the dungeons and on the planet system. It's just the way Bethesda did it. It's just not good. Like this is there's not many variety, and then we end up just exploring this exact same setup. So hopefully there will be a mod that will fix that because, like I said, this shit can get pretty damn old. Clips Merc. He's dead. Okay, he's dead. Push up. I'm gonna try to get inside her. I'm gonna get inside here and try to hack the turret. Oh boy. Okay, I'm just gonna go in. Gonna go in. I'm gonna try to get in and get that computer hack. Oh! Whoa! Nope, I don't think so. Okay, let's try to get this turret under control. Update to be taken hours. There you go. Now Got it. Be a good time to replay our okay, now we should be good. 
or sell. Or throw away. Yeah, guys, they are a little bit spongier too. Level 50s, the 40s. Okay, hopefully uh, Andrea is okay. Sounds like a huge firefight. All right, level 52. Uh! You're dead. Okay. Okay. We are taking a lot of damage this time, so could be a good time to start eating some food. More flips right here. See ya. We got probably one more guy over there. Let's see what you have. Ammo. Got one more person over there. We gotta take out. He's dead. <laughs> You're dead. Yeah, this thing's kind of weird. It does a lot of damage. Sometimes it doesn't. Like maybe these guys are just, you know, extremely beefy. That's just my guess here. But at least we got the turn on our side, at least. Yeah, we're just gonna loot the body, grab any costumes that we can, any loot, legendary weapons, and all that stuff, and call it. God damn it! I did not mean to talk to her. So we're gonna talk to her, I guess. <laughs> Sure, didn't look like any culture I have seen or heard of. Nor I. Nor I suspect <clears throat> anyone else who has ever lived. Is that presuming too much? Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but... How can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? Uh... Okay, we should take water gas as we keep going, we'll find out for sure. Many of the people out there, uh, out there, there are people that we just never met. There is no way humans were responsible for that. Yep, it is hard it's to not human. That's for damn sure. Aliens. <laughs> Hopefully, aliens will make an appearance in the expansion. That better be are aliens. You all right. Have you felt any side effects? Side effects? You say? Uh, haven't doubt about it. But now you got me worried. That was not my intent. I only meant to suggest that I am concerned about your well-being. Please, do not worry. I am sure everything will be, you know, fine. The I hope so. <laughs> Give me new powers, so I can't say no to that. <laughs> Clearly, they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. Uh, I've been burping a lot of uh, pizza lately. I did eat some pizza. Uh, when this is over, we're all going to be wish beyond dreams. This is exactly what Constellation is for, and I'm going to be a part of it. We've gone on it this far by working together. Yes, you are right. And yes, she liked that. we continue to work together, perhaps we can start to explain some of this. Now we have even greater reason to press forward. To learn more about what is at work here. Okay. Well, at least it wasn't too long like last time. Time to save, explore another mining complex that we have explored. And I'm going to assume the layout is going to be the same too. I kid you not. Yep, same layout. See, this is the pond I have with Starfield with the freaking uh, wish to random generation here. Your load. This is a pond. See, same body one placement, to same layout. When one is down with like I'm telling you, there is a huge flaw when it comes to this. That is. Right? Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. We've been to here already. <laughs> We've been to here already. Feels like deja vu. This is the problem I have with Starfield. At least Skyrim, you know, at least it's different, you know. At least that's different. Well, I see this is the exact same layout with the exact same notes as well. That's the problem I have right now. Oh, it's not going to be clear. Mm. 
Exact same layout, see? So this is just. I'm just disappointed that Bethesda went with this route. It's not handcrafted, you know, just like Oblivion and uh, Skyrim, and even Moira to a certain extent. Like, this is just. They're just relying too much on the, the randomizer to do his job, and it's not working. It's not working here, Chief. Uh, showtime. You might be able to land a nid over there. As long as gravity's not too affected by it. Going in. Taking that. Where the hell is this person going? The two. Hmm. Dead. Alright. Could be some good loot here. Miss this dead body here. Let's take that. Helmet here could be worth it. Nah. Okay. Like I said, the placements, even the item placements are sort of the same too. So now I know if I come to this layout, I know there is going to be a loot item there to get at least now. A contraband. We're here to obtain the goods. Five items. Size star, that's gonna be a pistol. Okay, they know we're coming. Got some nades. Got some nades. Alright, let's go. Hmm. Keep going. Ooh. Blow his ass up. Woo! Gotta be careful, we're taking a lot of damage here. Oh, not a Dave. Nope. Oh, time to quick switch. Okay, we're getting pretty fucked up here. Now, time to use some of those medical items for once now. Gonna use the trauma pack. There, call it good there. Whoa, level 70 up there. Okay, we're gonna need a sniper here. That's the guy we gotta watch out. That guy right there. Huge threat. Out. Okay. Ooh, wow, he is absolutely whipping our ass here. Whoa. Damn, son. Absolutely does a chill of damage. What a little bitch. Pop your face. What a little bitch. Uh, I'm pushing up there. Pushing up. Get up there! Come on! Vault! Yep, he's getting fucked now. I'm gonna fucking jump down here. Give up already. Still fucking hiding there. My lord. Nope. Jesus! That guy was level 70 too. He's better have something good. I guess he does. I guess he does, but not really worth killing his ass. What the hell is this? I think that's the same gun that we have. Before we head out, though, I'm never gonna loot this guy, so. Okay, Volt system is working, at least. This guy has a VSS. See, same body placement, dead lady, dead Muin. Same exact layout. 
basement. They know. Woo! Dag away. Get the heck away from me. <laughs> what were you thinking, man? God, reload. God, reload every fucking gun in the process. Fucking Christ. Man. Jesus Christ. Everything's gotta be goddamn reloaded. Take his ass out. Jesus Christ. Every fucking gun needs to be reloaded. Well, we got them at least. Got some uh, epic at least. Jeez, man. Every single goddamn gun need to be goddamn reloaded. It's like, bro. It's like, come on, man. I'm doing this gotta be reloaded too. Everything. Look at this. Every single weapon. This sucks too because it doesn't do the tactical reload too, so... The, the game plays a whole animation as you reload, which is pretty damn annoying. But nothing can be done until mods comes out for it, like the creation kit for it. Can't do nothing about it. Yeah, no point going down there. Uh, well, I think that's a wrap here. I think we got what we needed. Just, we're just gonna do a little quick loot around and then that's it. We're pretty much all done. his ass. Alright, I think we have uh, been here long enough. Let's grab all this shit, get the heck out of here. Time to make a profit, people. Down we go. Almost died there too, so good thing. We got some medical item here we can use. There we go. There we go. Looking good. Alright, we're back here at Mars, at Sidonia. And then we got the guns for this guy here. Dennis! I, am asking for. I got you shit. <laughs> hey, I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Yes, it was. Show me, and I'll just take them off your hands. A little banged up, but that's what my expert refurbishing skills are for. These will do nicely. If you ever want to do another run for me, I can always use more stock. There we go. Got a lot of money for that, so let's talk to him. We got a lot of good stuff here. Uh, take let's take see what... I haven't really checked what this guy had, so we're gonna check what kind of stuff he has. Ammo. Could buy some 7.62, although I do got, got quite a bit of ammo. Yeah, fuck it, we're just gonna do it, yeah. No 45, unfortunately. The curse. Yeah, so you got your classic uh, shock in here. Mmm, nah, I'm not gonna buy that. No, really, really no point. What could do is sell some of these high-end weapons. Alright, you got any more work for me? I won't say no to you. I would definitely We'll probably do this some other time. We're probably gonna be heading to Neon after this. Uh, we might have to probably hit to our, one of our outposts and store a lot of our resources into storage because we got way too many shit. Then I will get you the location of so, these people. So, we'll probably do this one. Uh, like I said, we're probably not going to do this one right and away. But we're going to be making retarded. our way to Neon. That's going to be our next place to hit. Once we hit there, then we'll think about doing that mission. But other than that, I think we're good for now. Okay, before we leave Sidonia, let's talk to Andrea. Uh, see what she has to say because she wants to talk again. I have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. I could have. Why do you stay? Uh, I love a good mystery. <laughs> there isn't much going on on this week. Uh, it's a good group of people and they need my help. They're offering me something. It's the point we find that out. 
I love a good mystery. One that will <laughs> soon be I like to go crazy. My past is complicated. And anyone in Constellation will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. Uh, why is constantly meaningful to you? Uh, I think having goal is important. You got to have a reason to get out of bed. Uh, get out of bed in the morning. Yes, that is one way. That's my best. Uh, uh, that's the way. I, that's the best way I can see it. Some are to agree with the idea. They sometimes seem offended I would suggest such a thing. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. Hmm. Okay. There's a there's no way to know what someone else is going to. You believe I am too quick to judge. Perhaps that is so. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. You also have been through a lot. I have. There have been times where I wondered whether it was worth it. My family is unique within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies, or the Free Star Collective. The way and out in the boonies in the galaxy. And their parents before them did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure. How existence without ties to others is challenging in space. Why do your family insist on independence? They believed, and still do, that anyone who was not part of our family did not share our values, our goals, and was ultimately a potential threat. My time in the settled systems has mostly led me to agree with them. It's not a life I choose for myself. Getting and buy on your own is a miracle. Well, it's not a life I choose for myself. Choice had nothing to do with it. Not for me. But looking back, I understand their concern. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause. And have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. Alright. There we go. Definitely going a lot closer to Azure. Alright, it's time to get the heck out of here. Uh, uh, then we're gonna head to Aquila, drop out some stuff. And then we're gonna be on our way to Neom, which is the next big planet that we have yet to explore. There's gonna be all kinds of stuff that we're gonna do there. We got a lot of main missions to do there. I think we're, I think we're gonna go there buy a piece of artifact as well. And so many stuff to go over there. And also with Ryogen 2, the company that we have applied for, for the position. Uh, we're also going to have uh, a bit of uh, have the opportunity to do that as well. A lot of shit to do over there. Uh, something to say, I should probably go talk to the Crimson uh, Fleet guys at Europa. Get that mission somewhat started. Because I am supposed to go undercover for the United Colonies for that. So I might end up doing that. Just maybe. But it's time to get the heck out of here. We have spent far too long here.